Good morning! <laughs> Good morning everyone. I thought my funk was over, but maybe it's only just me because I am once again in a bad mood. I just can't, can't escape it. I look really fucking ugly. You know, what's new? Nothing. I always look bad. I just, oh. you know them days where you feel ugly and I feel like just an overwhelming like sense of feeling let down, but I don't know why. I do know why. I'm just not gonna go into it. You don't wanna know. I just feel a bit shit. Again, the heat isn't helping. I hate this fucking heat. It's currently 30 degrees. Nah, nah, that shouldn't be allowed. Right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy a book. I think that'll make me feel better. I'm gonna buy a book. I'm gonna, I don't know. I, I'm having one of them days where I'm just like, everything's just pissing me off. Good evening. I'm dressed like it's winter because I want it to be winter. I really want a McDonald's, but I really can't be asked to go get one. Basically, I I went out yesterday. I went shopping because <laughs> I went shopping the other day to go and get a new <laughs> to go and get a new book and some flowers. Then my card got declined, so I went yesterday. Bought the book, fine. Bought the flowers because I thought, you know, fuck it, self care and all that. Um, bought them. I thought this surely can't make me feel worse. Then I fucking pricked my finger on one of the spikes on one of the thorns i thought yeah fuck it of course i did and then just everyone and everything was just pissing me off this woman was walking in front of me stopped like dead in her tracks to light a cigarette you know what do what you want i don't care one zip of vodka i'm like dot cotton in the square do you know what i mean i will be having a cigarette i can't help that i have long legs and i do blend in with the giraffes at the zoo that's not my fault just walk a bit fucking quicker and then I left I left the shops. Some fucking cunt beeped me in his can't even remember what I saw of a car it was. And then he was just living up my arse. Fucking, I'm telling you, he could have been paying rent. He was so far up there inhabiting in my arse. And then my steering went at a roundabout. And I thought, typical. Got home, it was like 34 degree heat. I thought, nah, nah. And then, you know, had a nice dinner, started sorting out some vintage parcels. Um, and then, <laughs> I literally don't even know how to say it. And then my nan died. What? Way to kick a woman when she's down. What the fuck? Um, so yeah, I swear to God, whoever's up there making decisions, there must be like a big red button that says hit push Maisie over the edge and someone's just fucking sat on it. Feeling all right? No, you're not. Feel like you might have a little bit of hope for your future? No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. And then I woke up and my flowers were dead and I thought, you know what? Just let me go. Just let me go. I'm gonna go get a wrap of the day, but the McDonald's I go to is like in the town centre and it's always so fucking busy on a Saturday. Everyone takes their fucking crotch goblins out with them on a Saturday. I actually think running over a pedestrian would make me feel better. Mm, no, what would make me feel better is if I just stopped breathing. And then, and then, you know, I was, let's just put it how it is, crying my eyes out, but I had to go post a vinted parcel. So I'm, you know, my nan's just died, but that doesn't stop vinted from reminding me I need to send my parcel. <laughs> I'm walking to the postage point, crying my eyes out, listening to Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. And then on shuffle, sicko mode comes on. And I genuinely thought, you cannot make this shit up. Y you just can't. What? Fuck off. I actually, oh, I am fucking, I've got a knack for choosing the wrong lane to go in at McDonald's. I have a talent for choosing the wrong fucking lane at McDonald's. I swear, both lanes had one car in front, and now three cars have got through on the other side, and the person in front of me has ordered enough for the fucking 5,000. Looks like Jesus is driving that Honda Jazz. What the fuck? Anyway, you fucking stay there. Hello. I'm happy to announce I'm in my brand new kitchen. As you can probably tell, this isn't mine. I've actually just bought my first million pound property. Me when I lie. Uh, no, I'm at my friend's house. I'm dog sitting. Wide load. <sighs> and I wonder why I'm single.
I know it looks like I could be in Selling Sunset, whatever the fuck that is, but I'm not. I'm looking after my friend's dog, Finnegan. I'm looking after Finnegan, um, named famously after Finn from Glee. No, she's not okay. Anyway, what I was gonna say was, the trip here, mm, I would go as far to say it felt like I was driving through the gates of hell. It was the trip from hell. And here's the thing, right? I, there was so much echo in this room. Oh, I'm not the most confident driver, mainly because I'm not a good driver. Um, you know, the only driver I like has Adam in front of it. Adam driver. I don't like driving that much. You know, the novelty wears off after a while. You pass your test, you want to drive everywhere, and now if I even think about getting in my car just to pop up to the shops, you know, I could shit myself and then physically throw up. Do you know what I mean? It's just the novelty wears off after a while. So I was just a bit like, you know, I drive because I'm very lucky to be able to drive. I'm not taken away from that. Please don't spin it into one of these things. I doubt you will. The rats are undefeated. You know when fucking anyone says anything on TikTok like, oh, does anyone else hate driving? And then you get some fucking wanker in the comments that's like, well, funnily enough, um, I literally can't drive because I literally am um, so scared of it. And like, <laughs> when? Who, what, why, when, how? Who asked? When did they ask? What did they ask? Who, what, when? Where? Where did they ask? And how did you even perceive that anyone was asking? Mm, no one asked. So I'm not trying to say that I'm ungrateful for being knowing how to drive. I fucking put myself through the ringer. When I learned to drive, I was in the trenches. I hated learning to drive. I'm such a nervous driver, you know, story time, you know, story time. Once upon a time, I was born. Theatre card. Aw, theatre card. She should not have been allowed to be born. Then 17 years later, I turned 17 and I learned to drive and I wanted to fucking kill myself the entire time. I hated it so much. I was such a nervous driver. It took me three times to pass my theory and three times to pass my practical. Literally every time I sat in the driver's seat, I thought, oh my God, gardener's world now in my pants because I've soiled myself. How was I? Basically, I was driving here and I've driven here a few times before so I know my way. So I have ways on anyway because, you know. So I'm going down this road. Why is this telling me to get off at the junction before the junction I normally get off on? Did that even make any sense? I thought, oh, sus. Uh, maybe it's just taking me through a different village. Maybe it's quicker. Or maybe it's taking me down the road that I've been down before that I literally started crying when I was driving down because it is just, oh, it is brutal. It is just oh my god it's like ways is directing me through satan's vulva it is just absolutely abysmal i hate it it's a very very narrow very narrow that's an under oh that's, that's a Oh, what? That's an understatement. It's so thin and it's fucking national speed limit. National speed limit. National speed limit if you've got a fucking death wish, which I do, but that's not how I want to go. National speed limit. I get off and I think, okay, maybe it's going to take me through a different town. No, you're fucking wrong. Oh, you're wrong. So I, I see the road and I think, you fucking pillock, what the bloody fuck is this about? So I'm going down this road and to start off with, it's like a dual, dual road. You know, it's like, it's like two cars can go down it, but fucking hard. And you know, my fate 500, she's a bit of a beast. Wide load. The way I drive it, I drive my car like I'm driving a fucking double-decker HGV lorry. Singular carriage. <laughs> and then, so I'm going down this road, and people are driving down this road like fucking maniacs. I'm cursing all these nerds. I'm like, this stupid old woman walking down the middle of the road. And you know what? I was warned about that little bloody little witch. I can't believe I said that. I was warned about that old damsel because there was a sign that said elderly people. I thought, you know what? I've always said it as well. I-D-G-A-F. I don't give a flip. They shouldn't be just walking on the road. Build a path for them. Build a path. Or just don't go out on the middle of a road. You know, I get, you know, going for a walk for your mental health. Last night I found out my nan died and I had to go walk up to the post office. And that's when sicko mode came on. I know about walks for mental health. I've been there, love. But that, just unexcusable behaviour. Anyway, so I'm driving down this road and I'm screaming, crying, throwing up, shitting myself, pissing myself. Just any bodily fluid. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I went into the upside down whilst I was there and blacked out. You know, 11 and everything. Anyway, just people driving so recklessly because obviously they live around here, they know the road. But I'm also thinking in your four by four, maybe you should take it a little bit slower. You look like a family man. You know, do you want to go home to your kids tonight or not? Because the way you're driving, suggest you're not. Are you on your way to get milk or something? You're driving awfully fast, madame. Anyway, so I'm driving down this road and then, oh my God, it's like they fucking sense that I'm there. It's um, cyclists. And I'm thinking, don't give in to temptation, Maisie. Don't knock one of them off of their bikes for spite. But also, 
do it. You know, I'm not going to say I would be justified in my actions, but I'm also not going to say I wouldn't be doing a public service act. And then I'm going around a corner and you know them blind corners and it's like, you've got all this fucking foliage over this sign that says, please like watch your speed now. Fuck off. So I'm going around this corner and this, and this fucking idiot decides to overtake on the corner. I thought, just, just hold on a second there, matey. Let me get my fucking Scrabble board out and you can spell out the word wank for me because that's exactly what you are. Let's see if it's a double word score because I fucking bet it isn't. I bet it's not even legit in Scrabble. Wouldn't know. Don't play it very often, you fucking nerd. I was fuming. And then at this point, I'm thinking, please, someone get me a bag because I'm about to vomit. I was literally, I was stressed out of my mind. I was thinking, this is, this is going to end in tears. I thought I had no tears left to cry, but you know what? My tear duck said, bring the bead in. There's just no winning. So I'm now driving down this road. I see some stupid woman walking on it and I just think, oh, you know what? Just plain and simply fuck off. Not the point. Well, it's exactly the point. Then, and then I thought, what are these absolute losers doing? Sitting having a picnic on like a little patch of grass on this, like the middle of this quite, it's not busy. It's not deserted, but I wouldn't say it's like, you know, congestion charge busy. It's just a bit like, you know, there's frequent visitors. It's right by like a, like a, like a, like a national forest thing. It's like a, right by like a piece of greenery, like a hill that people, it's a fucking Surrey Hills. That's what it is, you know. It's, it's just, it's just fucking hell on earth. And I thought, why the fuck are they having a picnic? And then I drive further up and I see more and I think, nah, nah, DMV. Virgin territory. No, I'm sorry. Obviously virgin territory. They're like fucking year sevens. Not virgin shaming. I just love the word virgin. What? And I see this guy with the brightest red, blue, green, and white checked shirt on. It was one of the teachers. And I thought, mate, get yourself out of super dry. You know, I never normally condone this, but go on boohoo, man. It is just an eyesore. It is just, oh my God, it sent a shiver down my spine. Then there was just more DV children. I thought, where the fuck are they spawning from? This was like Minecraft. Do you know when these, these things just spawn out of nowhere and you're there like, where the bloody fuck did you come from? That's how it felt. Uh, oh my god, I've actually got so cold thinking about it. <clears throat> oh, more cyclists. They just barricade down the road in like threes. And I think, piss off. Why are you taking up so much of the road? It's just, first of all, in a world where you can be anything, don't be a cyclist. Also, be kind. Also, don't take up the whole road, you fucking wanker. I'm just thinking, this is it now. It's game over. I tap out. I'm done. And then I finally get off this road and I'm thinking, did I get off of it? It was like the longest 2.3 miles of my life. And people were just driving around like fucking baboons. They were driving around like idiots. I thought, how the fuck are you that careless? Yes. Okay. I've fallen asleep behind the wheel. It was a one-time thing. It was four in the morning. I was bloody exhausted. But that... <coughs> No, it was awful. It just made me realise how much I hate other drivers. You know, after my bloody conundrum, my running with Jesus at McDonald's, I was just, I was in need of a peaceful little drive. A little bit of my banging new playlist. You know, landslide came on shuffle. Maybe I will cry my eyes out. I thought, you know what? I would not be surprised if when I get out of the car, the devil comes and gives me a fucking snog on the lip. Because it felt like he was just absolutely whipping me. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but country roads that feel like driving through the devil's vulva excite me. Choking, they make me want to die. It was awful. Pull out game week. Oh, sorry. I scrubbed my tan off the other day, so I feel like a nice pale little Victorian sickly child. Apart from that, I'm great though. <laughs> if you were to be asked <laughs> who Prince William's wife is, you would say Catherine, right? Kate. You say Kate. Wrong. What was that? It said Catherine. Goes, who's your favourite royal? And she goes, mine's Catherine. Because <laughs> that's her full name. I'm giving respect and to say, the Duchess of Cambridge. <laughs> she, I know she's a humble Kate. She's a humble Kate. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done.